At the bottom you can see we've got a timeline traveling there and that's showing that ViewD and visual effects are working on the shot in tandem. So you know VFX delivers us the camera and the plates. And a shot like this visual effects wise obviously you're going to have exterior outside the porthole and there's going to be a helmet placed into this shot. So the shot goes through its roto process, um, which you'll see in a little bit more detail in a minute. We take the geometry, apply the camera track to it, and from this we can create the depth map. This, this is actually the final depth map, so this would have been augmented with roto and everything. At this point here we can then manipulate the, you know, any part of the shot we want. We still have full creative control over, this, over the shot at this stage as well and throughout the process. And as you can see, we, you know, we've got Sandra completely separate. There was a clean plate there, which we projected back in through our paint department, adding back in any shadows. Um, this is like the final converted stereo shot. The breath in her mouth was a 2D element supplied by a frame store. They did look at stereo renders for those, but on, on a lot of the shots, that would have meant that shot would have had to become a stereo visual effect shot. So that helps, you know, they had a lot of battles to fight themselves. So um, that kind of simplified that process for them on quite a few of the shots by being able to keep them mono. So now this is going to start showing us where the helmet would, was going to be. Frame saw would pass us uh, like a locator, if you like in the form of uh, just a wireframe helmet. So we could see where the, the helmet was gonna come down through the shot in depth. We were able to bring this into our environment, create a stereo camera. The cameras are trained on the point the helmet was gonna be. That helmet, once taken into the mire, into the linear world um, that frame saw would have been working in was going to lock and track through the shot. All the time here assets are going backward and forward between the two facilities. You know they might, you know, we might hand this over, they might look at it and go actually it's, a it's not quite right, can we adjust it and um, that would come back to us and then we'd reversion it and send it back. Once it's been approved those cameras can then go as a package to frame saw, they're able to finish you know, lighting and rendering the helmet, and then that goes through to final comb, which on gravity was done at frame saw, but you know, this could be done in house with us or at any other visual effects facility. You know, what, what's different about this is often on a, on a conversion project, you know, the, the shot is finished completely and then it's just handed over. Um, so this is really demonstrating how we're working in parallel with a company, you know, the shot. We, in effect, we're creating an asset for them, so it's just, and that's got to fit in with their schedule. 